the body is divided into three, three parts. parts. What are three parts? Tell me again. Thorax. And the abdomen. Okay, kids. What is it? Head, thorax, and the abdomen. And the abdomen of periplaneta is nine segmented or ten segmented? Ten segmented. What a young one of cockroach called? And in the case of nymph, it is? In the case of nymph, the abdomen is dash segmented. Eleven, eleven. Ah, what's the like very doing? Nymph, it is? 11 segmented and in adult it is 10 segmented. So the 10 segmented abdomen, if I say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Or directly I'll make this time. In a 10 segmented abdomen, it shows the presence of 8 pairs of spiracles. So on the sides, I see the presence of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. How many pairs of spiracles? 8, eight pairs of spiracles. Okay. On the last segment, that is on the 10th segment, we see the presence of a pair of structures in both male cockroach as well as female cockroach. On the 10th segment, we see the presence of a pair of structures in both male as well as a female yeah. cockroach. And this pair of structures is called Anal sarca. Anal sarca is a feature of both male as well as females. It is assumed that the anal sarca is probably for ground and sound vibrations. Apne notice kya hoga ki agar cockroach hai, aisa karoge, to kya karta? Apki taraf baat kya aata hai wo? Fir so can it sense the ground vibrations? Yes. yes. So who helps it to sense the ground vibrations? Yes. The anal sarca. So the anal sarca helps to sense the sound and what about you know? The ground vibrations. Did my class follow this? Yes. Okay. Now, cockroach is dioecious. Cockroaches, dioecious animal. Have I told the meaning of this before? No, sir. It's a dioecious animal. Okay. Dioecious means that the animal is unisexual. So, what do you mean by unisexual? When there is separate male and female, the male sex is different. And the female sex is different. Okay? So that is called as dioecious. Though alag alag individuals, though alag alag sexes. Matlab, ek individual mein do sexes hoongi, ek hi hooga? Toh usko hum kya kehte hai? Unisexual. Ya usi ke word kya use karte hai? Dioecious. What my point? So human beings, are we Monoecious or are we dioecious? Are we bisexual or unisexual? Unisexual. And cockroach also shows sexual dimorphism. Cockroach shows sexual dimorphism. What do you mean by sexual dimorphism? Diamondidone. Morphic. Matlab shape. So, let's see that this is male sex and this is female sex. Is it right? 
जैसे जब मेरा फर्स्ट लेक्चर था आप लोग के साथ और जैसे भी आया आप लोग ने मुझे गुड मॉर्निंग मैडम बोला था याद है हाँ पर गुड मॉर्निंग मैडम बोला था तो क्या इंसान में आप देख के पहचान जाते हो मेल की फीमेल है क्योंकि देख के फीचर्स में समझ में आ जाता है तो वैसे कॉकरोच में भी बाय जस्ट बाय लुकिंग वेंट्रली वेंट्रली मंजे टुवर्ड्स द सन और टुवर्ड्स द अर्थ सो इफ यू लुक एट द कॉकरोच वेंट्रली द मेल कॉकरोच एट नाइन and the 10th segment 8th 9th and the 10th segment the 9th segment will show the presence of a pair of structures which are called as anal styles a pair of structures ventrally in the case of the male cockroach Arising from which segment? Ninth segment. Are these anal styles found in the female? No. They are found only in the female, and they help in the time of reproduction. I hope you understood everybody. समझ लगा ऐसा कितना था सरवार ना? All of you, shall I continue? इसके बाद, the reproductive structures. Will be doing with reproductive system. So when you read the NCERT text on the morphology of cockroach, the last part of the text should be reproductive structures. But in what we will study, where we will study when we study reproductive system. So there are some such terms that will come from there. Do you understand all this? Okay. So with this we have completed the external structure of Periplaneta Americana. Huh? So if I want to revise it quickly, I'll start like this. That the cockroach is reddish brown in color. You have to give me yes or no. Yes. The body is divided into a head, thorax and the abdomen. Yes. The thorax is divided into prothorax, mesothorax and the metathorax. Yes. The body is covered by cutaneous exoskeleton. Yes. As the body of the cockroach goes, grows, the exoskeleton grows or does not grow? Does not grow. As a result of which it has to remove the exoskeleton periodically? Yes. What is this process of removal yes. called? Yes. Egg is also called as what? Molting. Yes. A young one of cockroach is called dash. Yes. It undergoes egg disease dash times to form an adult. Yes. And this development is called dash development. Yes. Or a metabolus yes. development. So, you have to participate others, girls over there, huh? Now, the head of the cockroach shows the presence of a pair of compound eyes yes. with the lenses which are called as umatidia. Yes. What is Yes. Per eye, what is the umatidia? Yes. Is it clear? Yes. No. Blurred mosaic image. Yes. What is it? And then I told you that, after that, they have very high resolution or low resolution? High. More sensitivity but less resolution. More sensitivity but less resolution. Right? Then the pair of antenna, ocelli, white spots, neck is called as cervical. Thorax shows the presence of dorsal wings and ventral legs. Then the wings were the difference between the wings. And now we have to add up. Okay? So now your job is to learn that after you go home today. Now we'll be discussing or we'll start a discussion on the digestive system. Okay? Which system I'm talking about which you know? Digestive system. Okay? You there with me everybody? Cockroach is an omnivore. You remember omnipresent of the Kerala part last lecture was it? Car do the data. Present every day. And here what I have written? Omnivore. What is the answer? They can eat almost. मतलब क्या उसका नारा 
बासी हुआ ताजा जो मिले खा जा सब कुछ खाता है दिखता नहीं बराबर है सो दैट इज वी से दैट इज अ ओमनी नाउ इट शोस द प्रेजेंस ऑफ अ कंप्लीट डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम का अर्थ होता है साहब कि एन एनिमल इज शोइंग द प्रेजेंस ऑफ अ कंप्लीट डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम इसका मीनिंग ये होता है कि इट शोस द प्रेजेंस ऑफ एन एलिमेंट्री कैनाल ब्रश कर उच्चार कर प्रवचन है क्या आला संगित मैं ट्री के is divided into three different parts the part closest to the mouth is called foregut gut gut la apan hindi madhe bolto atadiya samajla ani english madhe gut cha artho asto elementary canal okay normal english madhe asa bolta digestive tract okay so the word gut gut is related to your digestion okay and jo apan bolto four gut that's our the so four manje pehla so can i say it's closest to the mouth yes that is what is called four gut four gut so middle one will be called mid gut and the last portion will be called as hind gut so gut manje kay bachu log Digestive tract. Divide how many parts? Three. What are three parts? Four. 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 The mid gut is called mesenteron. And the hind gut is called proctodium. Proctodium. The fore gut is called stomach. The fore gut is called stomach. कुछ बच्चे ऐसे बैठे कि ये वर्ड्स रोज यूज़ करते हैं. The fore gut is called stomach. Midgut is called. Ah. Uh? And the hindgut is called. Proctodium. Proctodium. Bar, इतना नहीं देखो. क्यों इतना नहीं? हाँ. कौन मैं? सही बोल रहा हूँ. अच्छा अच्छा लाइट बोल रहा हूँ. मैं कब से? इसके वजह से बंद कर दूँ क्या लाइट? हाँ. कहाँ है उसका बटन कहाँ पे? अभी तक तुम लोगों क्या? बायो तो याद नहीं हो रहा. बटन भी याद नहीं है तुम लोगों. ये तो नहीं उसका पता नहीं इट डज नॉट कम विद द बटन वेयर इज इट सर अभी बटन हुआ था पंखा बंद हुआ था पंखा भी बंद हुआ ठीक है सर ओके ठीक है सो गाइस सो द थ्री पार्ट्स बरबर है ना द फोर कट इज फॉर द डिवाइडेड इन टू आप बिफोर वी स्टडी दैम यू हैव द चार्ट फर्स्ट बोलो माउथ 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 
Paris. Paris. East of Vegas. East of Vegas. Croc. Croc. Gizzard. Gizzard. So it has got mouth, then there is a pharynx, iso, pigs, then you have a crop, and you have a gizzard. Okay? The mesenteron shows the presence of. Hepatic CK. And what is Hepatic CK. And stomach. The stomach is also known as ventriculus. The stomach is also called as ventriculus. And the gizzard is also known as proventriculus. Gizzard is called pro proventriculus. Stomach is called ventriculus. And the hind gut. Which part? Hind gut. Some of the where the arrow is coming from? It is coming from which part? Hind gut. Is divided into ileum, colon. Look, colon. Colon. Rectum. Rectum. Whose opening is anus. So what are the parts of the hind gut? Ileum, colon, rectum, and rectum. Okay. And it shows the presence of digestive glands in the form of salivary glands. Sir, the human said, the human digestive. Uh, in large intestine or small intestine? Large intestine. Okay. Same. Ilium. Ilium. Colon. Rectum. Okay. Clear everybody up to here? Huh? So before I start teaching that, we'll keep we'll keep copy down, Mr. So tell me. What are the three parts of the elementary canal? Foregut, midgut, and the midgut. The foregut is also called as dash. The midgut is also known as and the hindgut is also known as to the ear. Pay attention. I am not going to erase it, so I will write it in the back. Okay? So now, look at the anterior most opening. Pavolumi, look at the anterior most opening. So where are you looking here? Down? Are you looking at the top? Yes. yes. And then anterior most opening is the mouth. Okay. And this is the mouth is followed by a small muscular part and that is called as the pharynx. What do you call it? Pharynx. pharynx. And the pharynx opens into a narrow tube. The pharynx opens into a narrow tube, which is called as the esophagus, which passes through the neck. What is the other name for the neck? Cervical. And then it opens into the largest part of the elementary canal which is called as the crop and the crop is present in the abdomen and it helps in the storage of food okay so the mouth opens into the pharynx pharynx opens into the esophagus and the esophagus opens into the crop the esophagus passes through the neck, which is called as the cervical. And I said the crop is the largest part of the elementary canal. It is located in the abdomen and it helps in the storage of food. Okay. So it's a 
largest part it's a bag like structure and it helps in the storage, storage of food and is located in the abdomen clear everybody yes now and then the crop opens into the gizzard and the gizzard is also called as the pro ventricles because the stomach is known as the ventricles okay what is the other name of the stomach see there ventricles so now the gizzard is coming before the ventricles or after the ventricles गिजर कहां आ रहा है वेंट्रिकल से पहले आ रहा है कि बाद में आ रहा है पहले तो इसलिए उसका नाम क्या दिया है प्रो वेंट्रिकल प्रो मतलब पहले आ रहा है ओके सो दैट इज व्हाई आई मेंशन ओवर हियर दैट द स्टमक इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एज द वेंट्रिकल एंड व्हेयर इज द गिजर लोकेटेड इज इट लोकेटेड आफ्टर द स्टमक और बिफोर इट बिफोर दैट इज व्हाट इज कॉल्ड एज द प्रो वेंट्रिकल व्हाट माय पॉइंट नाउ द गिजर is a very efficient efficient samajhta efficient matlab saksham very good efficient saksham for what it is used for grinding and straining the food what the gizzard used for yeah. grinding yeah. and straining the food okay what do you mean by grinding crushing or chewing okay grinding chewing rather crushing okay and straining matlab chhalni jaisa kaam karta hai kaun gizzard okay now when you cut the gizzard so here there is a transverse section of whom gizzard so when you take a ts of the gizzard transverse section of the gizzard we see the presence of outer circular muscles what do you see the presence of outer circular muscles okay now just imagine like this then we have taken apple apne apple liya apple ko aise kya kiya transversely cut kiya fir na ek knife ki madad se apple ke beech mein kaise hole kar diye थ्रू एंड थ्रू नहीं समझ रहे अपन तो एप्पल को कट किया और उसके बीच में क्या कर दिया है होल कर दिया बराबर है आया ना तो बीच में लूमन आ गया कि नहीं हाँ और अभी बीच में कुछ भी आएगा ना तो एप्पल का मस, ये जो साइड वॉल है सब कॉन्ट्रैक्ट रिलैक्स कर सकता है तो पूरे वॉल्स के बीच में आने के बाद वो चीज क्या हो जाएगी पूरी मसल जाएगी कि नहीं क्रश हो जाएगी कि नहीं तो अभी गिजर्ड को इमेजिन करो कट किया मैंने गिजर्ड को ऐसे and it shows the presence of do you see this lumen yes. this is a lumen give me a sure no yes and inside the lumen see i have drawn a food particle like this okay and you see this surrounded by 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 chitinous teeth 6 chitinous teeth which are surrounded by the muscles so when the gizzard ka muscles will contract kaun dab jayega kiske beech mein six cartilages teeth ke beech mein to kya ho jayega chalo wo crush ho jayega aur isi kaam kaam ko hum log kya bolte hain grinding samjhe gizzard ne grinding mein kaise help kiya so gizzard ke paas sabse bahar ki taraf kya hai outer circular muscles मसल की जरूरत पड़ेगी ना तो ही वो मसल पाएगा मतलब इट विल अंडर गो कॉन्ट्रेक्शन एंड रिलैक्सेशन बराबर है लेकिन मसल कुछ कड़क चीज तो होना चाहिए जो उसको घस सके उसको सो इट शोज द प्रेजेंस ऑफ सिक्स टाइटेनियस टी जिसके बीच में क्या है ल्यूमन है और उसमें वो फूड पार्टी होती है ओके अनदर थिंग रिजर्ट शोज द प्रेजेंस ऑफ इस इट शोज द प्रेजेंस ऑफ such backwardly directed bristles hair like structures 
okay backwardly directed bristles which help to strain the food which help to strain the food aur toh kaisa kaam karta hai chalni wala kaam karta hai chalni samajhta okay so it helps in two things grinding and straining the food to dessert so that is why it is that is a grinding and a straining apparatus it shows the presence of outer circular muscles and a circlet circle is a circlet of six what cutaneous teeth okay did you get my point everybody now after that the gizzard opens into the mid gut you remember mid gut yes and this mid gut is made up of how many parts two parts the stomach and the hepatic ck kaise pronounce karay sir ck hepatic ck now see can i say at the junction of the foregut and the midgut at the junction of the foregut and the midgut gizzard is a part of foregut loudly foregut foregut ek baar cvt mein question aaya tha which part marks the end of the foregut समझ लो प्रश्न की कोणता पार्ट हा फोरगट चा एंड दाखव काय उत्तर येणार समजलं की नाही सर्वांना विच पार्ट मॉल्स एंड ऑफ द फोरगट ठीक आहे सो बिटवीन द फोरगट अँड द मिडगट स्टमक किसचा पार्ट आहे डू यू सी ब्लाइंड ट्यूब्स ब्लाइंड म्हणजे काय लाईक अ टेस्ट ट्यूब लाईक अ वॉटर बॉटल वॉटर बॉटल किंवा टेस्ट ट्यूब कडे किती ओपनिंग असतात वन थ्रू दॅट यू कॅन पुट इन अँड थ्रू द सेम थिंग यू कॅन पुट आउट स्ट्रॉ स्ट्रॉ कडे किती ओपनिंग असतात स्ट्रॉ कडे सो विल यू कॉल अ स्ट्रॉ इज अ ब्लाइंड ट्यूब टेस्ट ट्यूब वॉटर बॉटल थैली What is what is the blind tube? Yes. So, do you see these blind tubes? They secrete enzymes that help in the process of digestion, and these are called as hepatic CK, or they are also known as gastric CK. Then another name is gastric, gastric CK. CK. There are about six to eight in number. I have drawn how much? Six. six. I have drawn six. six. they can be from 6 to 8 they are arranged in a circular manner whirl whirl mantat tala manje this is a tube ek idhar hai dusra north south east west aise aa raha hai kuch to unka arrangement ek hi side hai kaisa whirl jaisa hai aisa gol jaisa hai jaisa gucche jaisa lagega na wo log aat lo usko bolte hai rosette manner क्या वर्ड यूज करते उसके लिए रोजीट बनाए क्या बना शब्द रोजी आया ना सो गुलाब की जो पंखुड़िया है बराबर है आर दे अरेज ऑन ऑल द फोर साइड एंड आर दे लाइक अ गुच्छा सो हाउ इज अर अरेजमेंट रोजी समझ लो सरवण ना so at the junction of the dash and the dash who uh, four guard wait guard how many are there six and there are blind tubules called as hepatic ck or gastric ck which release the enzymes for digestion got it everybody so tell me what is the another name for the hepatic ck they are also known as the gastric ck Tell me where are they present? At the junction of the foregut and the midgut. Correct, Mr. Chawdhary. Then tell me, how is their arrangement? Rosy man. Are they like a straw or they are blind tubes? And what do they release? Enzymes for the process of digestion. Okay. 
even the stomach, it releases what? Enzymes that help in the process of digestion. I hope everybody has understood this point. Have you understood clearly? Pakka. So the elementary canal shows the presence of foregut, midgut, hindgut. Foregut is also known as the stomodium. Midgut is also known as the mesentrum. And the hindgut is also called as the proctodium. The foregut shows the presence of mouth, pharynx, esophagus, crop and the gizzard. Okay? If you cut, which is the largest part of the elementary canal? It is located in the it is a barrel like structure. The gizzard is also called as the proventricles. If you cut the gizzard, you see the presence of circular muscles and six chitinous teeth which helps in grinding the food. It has got bristles, hair like structures which help in straining the food. Between the foregut and the midgut, there are six to eight blind tubules called hepatic CK or gastric CK arranged in a roseate manner which help in the process of digestion by releasing enzymes. Everybody? The last part. What's the last part? Hindgut. Which shows the presence of the ileum, colon, and the rectum. Okay? The colon and the rectum, they help in the absorption of water. Okay? Especially the rectal part. They help in what which Absorption. Absorption of water. As a result of which, the feces that come out, you understand the feces? Will they be soft or will they be very hard? Soft. If you have a lot of water, it is soft. It is hard. Because it is dry. It is not dry. It is dry. So the feces are released out in the form of solid pellets. What do you call it? Solid pellets. Pellets are called? Kadak kadak. What do you call it? Pellets. Khadi sir. Khadi, you know, khadi. Okay, like that. Did you get my point everybody? So who helps in absorption of water over here? The colon and the rectum. The rectum is very efficient in that. Ultimately, the waste will be thrown out in the form of hard solid feces. And these hard solid feces are called as what? Solid pellets. Another important thing. Look at the ileum. Are you looking at the ileum everybody? I don't know. Can I say it is a narrow tube? Yes. It's a narrow tube. And around the ileum, there are around 100 to 150 yellow colored tubules. Remember what I am saying. What is the color I just mentioned? Yellow. yellow. What is the number I mentioned? Yellow. And these are called Malphigian tubules. Okay? Can I now answer? Yes. The name of the scientist, Anatomist, was Marcelo Malpigi. Can I now answer? Marcelo Malpigi. Marcelo Malpigi. And he had done a lot of work in the excretory system. What my point? So this means that the 100 to how much? 150 tubules, which are yellow in color, and they are called as what? Malpigian tubules. They have no role to play in digestion. Unka digestion se koi bhi lena dena. Unka role hai excretion. What do they help in? Excretion. Excretion. You don't know what is excretion, what chalo? Removal of metabolic waste. Cellular waste. Okay? And they remove this metabolic waste in the form of uric acid. Like human beings, we remove our metabolic waste in the form of urea inside our urine. Cockroach, apna cells ka waste, 
खाया हुआ नहीं अनडाइजेस्टेड नहीं किसका वेस्ट सेल्स का वेस्ट किसका वेस्ट सेल्स का वेस्ट कौन से फॉर्म में रिमूव करता है यूरिक एसिड तो जैसे अपने पास किडनी है कॉकरोच के पास क्या है जो यूरिक एसिड को किस में डालेगा इलियम में इलियम से किधर जाएगा कॉलोन फेक्टा और फीसेस के साथ ही उसको बाहर फेंक दिया था तुम दो काम करते हो फीसेस दैट इज कॉल्ड इजेशन एंड यू डू यूरिनेशन दैट इज अ पार्ट ऑफ एक्सक्रीशन कॉकरोच एक ही ओपनिंग है जिसे वो फीसेस भी रिमूव करता है और साथ में यूरिक एसिड आई होप यू गॉट माई पॉइंट एवरीबडी आया ना ओके नीच इज द नेक्स्ट ग्लैंड वो चलो सलाइवरी ग्लैंड आई थिंक ये वाला पार्ट लिखा है ना तुमने ऊपर वाला है ना क्लासिफिकेशन वाला लिखा होगा ना तुम लोगों ने ना सो नोट कैट द सलाइवरी ग्लैंड ब्यूसी शोज द प्रेजेंस ऑफ अ पेयर ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर्स ओवर हियर व्हिच कलर आर शोन देयर अरे बोलो कलर नहीं समझ में आ रहा है रेड ओके दिस पेयर ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर्स स्टोर सलाइव क्या स्टोर करते हैं दैट इज व्हाई दे आर कॉल्ड सलाइवरी रिजर्वोयर और सलाइवरी रिसेप्टैकल उसको रिजर्वोयर और सलाइवरी रिसेप्टैकल एंड डू यू सी द टू सलाइवरी रिसेप्टैकल्स ओपन थ्रू अ डक डक है ना डक इस डक को बोलेंगे रिजर्वोयर डक इसको रिजर्वर कॉमन रिजर्वर ठीक है देखो ये लेफ्ट रिजर्वर डक है यहां देखो सब लोग ये कौन सी डक है लेफ्ट है ये कौन सी है राइट right है दोनों मिलके बन गया एक कॉमन रिजर्वर डक ओके नाउ इट शोज द प्रेजेंस ऑफ a pair of salivary glands the left salivary gland and right gland right. and each salivary gland is it a simple gland or a compound gland compound gland so bolna tumhe kaise the last time bataya tha na aise chote chote parts hai na okay so dekho inko bolte hai salivary lobules jo saliva produce karte hai aur ye dono jo leaf dikh raha hai na leaf patte jaisa वो मिलके एक सलाइवरी ग्लैंड वैसे इधर होगा क्या होगा चलो दूसरा सलाइवरी ग्लैंड आया बात समझ में सबको आया ना सो कितने सलाइवरी ग्लैंड है दो लेफ्ट एंड राइट हैंड उनकी भी खुद की डक्ट है लेफ्ट सलाइवरी डक्ट एंड विच यूनाइट टू फॉर्म अ कॉमन सलाइवरी एंड इज ज्वाइनिंग विथ हूम कॉमन रिजर्वर डा एंड दैट विल फॉर्म अ कॉमन सलाइवरी रिजर्वर डा क्या बोलो मैंने कॉमन सलाइवरी रिजर्वर डाट विल ओपन एट द टम ओपन करेगा टम तो ये वाली डक किसकी है रिजर्वर डा ये किसकी है सलाइवरी की है कॉमन दोनों मिलके एक और क्या बनाते हैं कॉमन बनाते हैं जुकाम में ऊपर होता है टंग ओके वॉट आर बॉइंट द सलाइवरी लैंड का दिस डिटेल्स नॉट इन द एनसीआरटी इन द गवर्नमेंट टेस्ट बुक इफ यू रीड इट समाइम सो दिस इज नॉट टू बी गिवन फर्स्ट इंपोर्टेंस टू लर्न वॉट आर बॉइंट एमसीक्यू सॉल्व करते अगर कोई आ गया एमसीक्यू सो यू कैन यूज दैट इंफॉर्मेशन टू सॉल्व Okay, but not to give primary importance to it. I have answered you, sirko. I am not. Pakka. So, how many salivary glands are there? Two. Left or right. 
और रिजर्व वॉइस भी कितने हैं दो लेफ्ट और राइट दोनों का अपना अपना खुद का डक्ट है और वो मिलके कॉमन बनेगा और दोनों का कॉमन मिलके एक कॉमन बनेगा बराबर है मतलब रिजर्व वॉयर का खुद का एक कॉमन बनेगा सलाइवरी लैंड का खुद का कॉमन दोनों मिलके एक और कॉमन बनेगा ठीक है पक्का मैडम देर ओके वो चेनेम रुतुजा ट्रेल में रुतुजा हाउ मेनी मल्फीजन ट्यूब्यूल्स आर देर मल्फीजन ट्यूब्यूल्स कितने होते हैं कोई डिफिकल्ट क्वेश्चन है ये यस सर स्टैंड ऑफ यूलिंग हाँ क्या है ये मतलब बिल्कुल ध्यान नहीं लेक्चर में कोई डिफिकल्ट क्वेश्चन है ये बैठ जाओ दोनों भी कितना मल्फीजन ट्यूब्यूल्स लिखा हुआ है सब मैंने वहां पे और कलर क्या उनका हेपेटिक सीकेल का दूसरा नाम क्या है क्या फंक्शन हेल्प करते वो लोग डाइजेस्टिव एंजाइम्स को सारे पॉइंट्स क्लियर है एवरीबॉडी हाँ कॉपी डन फास्ट एंड इफ यू गेट टाइम विल स्टार्ट विद द सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम